Hey guys, it's Andrew and welcome back to my channel. Hope you all have been well. If you're new here, thanks for coming to my channel. Subscribe. If you're not new here, hey, it's us. Well, we're back. <laughs> Stay. Don't leave. I'm, I will lock the doors. As you can see from the title today, I'm doing another episode of Following What Celebrities Eat in a Day. The other day I went on my Instagram and asked you guys who you wanted to see me do next, and the overwhelming majority of you guys said Florence Pugh. So today, let's see what Florence Pugh eats in a day. I'll be honest, I don't know too much about Florence Pugh. The more things I do, the more I realize I'm kind of stupid. <laughs> There's a lot of things I don't know. I know that Florence Pugh is an actress. I know that she was in a movie with Harry Styles. Don't worry, darling. I don't think I've ever seen one of her movies, if I'm being honest. Most of the things I've seen from her are like clips from Twitter, which I'm sure is every actress's dream to be known for clips from Twitter. <laughs> I know her from the meme of her crying in Midsummer. <laughs> I know her from that one tweet after she got her haircut that said she looked like a lesbian barista. <laughs> Florence girl, I'm sorry. I'm stupid. Don't. <laughs> if I was an award winning actress and someone said they only knew me from Twitter memes, I would be upset. <laughs> Florence, I'm so sorry. I will watch one of your movies soon. But everything I've seen from her, she seems like very wholesome. She seems like a very... She's British, right? Florence Pugh British? Yes. Florence Pugh. Florence Pugh. Florence Pugh. Oh, she was in Puss in Boots? <laughs> was she Puss or was she Boots? Oh, but also, I know she cooks a lot. I've seen a bunch of clips of her in the kitchen. I think her dad is a restaurant tour. And yeah, everything else I've seen from her online, she seems very wholesome and nice. So, very excited to see what she eats in a day. As always, shout out to Harvest Bazaar for providing the series that I use. All right, I got the video pulled up here. Without further ado, or should I say without further a pew? Okay, let's just start. Hello, I'm Florence Pugh, and this is everything I eat in a day. Tell us, girl. A typical breakfast for me is... Tell us. First of all, I have to wake up and make myself a tea. I can't Classic. have anything before I've had my tea. I Don't talk to me before I've had my tea. Sorry. I have a Yorkshire tea with okay. oat milk, and I tend to leave the bag in. I know lots of people are going to hate me. And then I put the milk in and I kind of give it a okay. good brew and that way you get a nice thickness to it. So it's like a bit of a stew. A, a thickness? A stew? What do you mean you have, what? I don't want my tea to be thick. <laughs> a stew? What do you mean? <laughs> when I think of stew, I think of like a beef stew. And those are not the vibes I want from a cup of tea. <laughs> but okay, she starts her morning with a Yorkshire tea with oat milk. So I believe Yorkshire is the name of a tea brand in the UK. We don't have them here. But I was able to find some at the sophisticated wonderland of World Market. So I have some here. And then she says she does it with oat milk. All right, let's try it. All right, what are the instructions? 212 degrees for four to five minutes. All right, I got the water heating up to 212 degrees. Hurry up, I need my tea. Guys, I'm so sorry, I cannot do accents well. And I fear that's not gonna stop me. Florence Pooh. Sorry. Okay, the water is heated up. We have our packet. Fill it with water. Well, that got dark quick. That is what it looks like if you want the visual. Set timer for four minutes. All right, and then once it's done brewing, I guess we add the milk and we don't take the packet out for the thick stew vibes. I need my tea. Oh, finally. Oh my god. That was so boring. Y'all, I've just been standing here. All right, the tea is done. Now we leave the packet in and add in some oat milk. All right. And then she says to leave the packet in and let that brew a little more. All right. Oh, all right. I say the tea is done. Let's try it. Yeah, that's tea. <laughs> Top of the morning. <laughs> I don't know what she was talking about it being thick and stew-like. It tastes like a normal cup of tea, but I'm fine with that. All right, tea has been consumed. That was nice. I feel like I never have the patience for tea. You gotta <laughs> wait for the water to boil and then you gotta wait for it to brew. Like, I feel like I've never finished a box of tea. I always buy it and I'm like, I'm gonna become a tea person now and I never do. All right, what's next? What's for breakfast? Only after then can I start thinking about what I want to eat. Usually for brekkie, I'll do at least two boiled eggs. I okay, brekkie. She's fun. Okay, I guess her breakfast is two boiled eggs. I want it to be a little bit, a bit gooey, not too gooey, not any runny white bread, and some salt on the side. Okay. Salt on the side, very classy. Is that it? Just two eggs? And then a black coffee. I'll have a black, a black Americano. That will sort me out for a good few hours. Just two plain eggs? <laughs> I don't need the egg with anything. Yeah, just egg. <laughs> Well, it's simple. It's simple. I'm, I'm, I'm gearing up for lunch. Only two eggs with nothing else? Uh, darling, I'm worried. I'm a simple breakfast person if I'm working. If I'm not working, okay. then I'll have the lot. I'll, okay, I'll, tell I'll, us. I'll usually do what my dad does and make like a half full English. So then I'll do salad. 
Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I've never had a proper like English breakfast. So I can't really hate on it, but I will. Okay, beans for breakfast? Beans and eggs? <laughs> oh, hell no. Okay, so when she's working, just two eggs, but when she's not working, she does this. And then I'll do sourdough bread, two fried Yum. eggs with the lid on so it goes crispy underneath, but cooks the top. And then okay. I'll do some cherry tomatoes in eggs. a bowl, pop them with some olive oil, a little bit of balsam, salt, pepper, pop it in the microwave for two minutes with some cling film on it. Take it okay. out, it'll be nice and cooked. Smush them up a bit, and then dribble it around the eggs with the toast. <clears throat> That's my dad's special. Okay. Okay, so she has sourdough toast with fried eggs and then cherry tomatoes in a bowl with balsamic vinegar and olive oil and salt and pepper, and then she microwaves them for two minutes. Then she mushes them up, puts them on top. That sounds nice. I'm into that. Love a microwave moment. All right, let's try it. I got some just egg, I have some sourdough, some cherry tomatoes, some balsamic, and some olive oil. I love this, very simple. Okay, a piece of toast. I'm gonna go ahead and just put this in my toaster oven. And then I got a pan for the eggs. Okay, so pretty simple. I mean, she just adds oil, balsamic, some pepper, and some salt. And then she says she puts cling film over it, which kind of scares me. Like, is this microwave safe? It says it is. All right, giving this a stir just to mix it up. The oil's pretty hot, so I'm gonna go ahead and add our eggs. Okay, now let's microwave our tomatoes. She said do it for two minutes. Okay, my microwave is on. Let's check this. All right, the eggs are about done. All right, everything's ready. We have our piece of toast here. Ooh, the tomatoes smell good. That is what the tomatoes are looking like. Let's put our eggs on. All right, some butter for the toast. She didn't say that, but it looks a little dry. Okay, and then crush up the tomatoes. Smush them up a bit. Very liquidy. And then she pours that on top of the eggs and toast. All right, and there we have it. Smells divine looks okay you know probably could look a little better oh I forgot her black coffee she says she does an Americano all right, I have my Nespresso here all right and then add in some hot water and there we have it an Americano and then Florence's half English breakfast with her dad's special microwave tomatoes we will just put a little more salt on top all right Florence Pugh's breakfast let's give it a try mm, delicious top of the morning <laughs> a little bit of the toast Ooh. The tomatoes with the toast is really good. Mm. And I love using my microwave. So, okay, Florence. Delicious. Girl, you may be in midsummer, but there is nothing mid about this summer breakfast. I can't think of jokes, y'all. I don't got much to work with. <laughs> uh, delicious. Last bite. Mm, yum. All right, and there we have it. Florence Pugh's breakfast. Delicious. Love the little tomato moment. That was cute. Also, love the Americano. That's a Gaga song, right? Sorry. Ready for lunch? I wait until I'm hungry and then I eat. Yeah, that, that's normally how it works. <laughs> All right, what's for lunch? Typical lunch, I'll probably have like a late lunch. I'll probably do like three, maybe 3.30. Okay. You know, I, I, I'm a little, I, like, I like a bit of sustenance in the afternoon. Nothing wrong with that. It is four o'clock right now and I just say breakfast. <laughs> so if I'm going for like a small but really energizing salad, I'll go rocket spinach. I'll okay. Also wash them. A salad. Rocket, I believe is just the British name for arugula. So an arugula and spinach salad. Then I'll go finely chopped pepper in like little cubes. Bell pepper. And then I'll do cherry tomatoes, like the one that are on the vine. Obviously take them off the vine, don't put them in the salad. And then I'm gonna- Okay, don't put the vines in the salad. I wasn't, I wasn't going to. And then I'm gonna do cucumber, loads of cucumber, red okay. onion, and I'm gonna slice it really finely. So that's all going in the bowl. Okay, red onion and cucumber. Then I'm gonna do, depending on what mood I'm in, I always like a bit of feta in my salad, so I'm gonna crumble the feta. Feta? <laughs> all right, some feta. I'm gonna crumble the feta. Olive oil, nice olive oil, not cooking olive oil. And then maybe some rice wine vinegar or some white wine vinegar. Okay. Okay, so arugula, spinach, bell pepper, cucumber, red onion, tomatoes, feta, olive oil, and vinegar. And then if I'm wanting a bit of spice, I'll chop up a chili, like a, like maybe like that much of a chili. Got it. <laughs> All right, that much of chili, got it. And then just chow down. All right, sounds delightful. A classic salad, you know, Bunch of vegetables. <laughs> Alright, let me get everything. We have rocket, spinach, some onion, some bell pepper, some cucumber, and then more of the cherry tomatoes. I looked for some on the vine, but I could not find any. So I feel like that's fine, because obviously we she said don't eat the vine. But I want a bite. <laughs> Alright, this is everything, right? And then I have some leftover feta. Okay. Pretty simple. I got a bowl right here, some spinach, some rocket, as the Brits call it. Alright, and then a bell pepper, she says. I'll just do half of one. Chop that up. All right, got the pepper chopped up, and then some cherry tomatoes. She didn't say she cuts them, so I guess I'll just throw them in. All right, tomatoes. All right, and then she said loads of cucumber. <laughs> I don't 
All right, throw that in. Okay, and then she said red onion, and she said she slices it very finely. All right, trying to get it very fine. Am I doing anything? <laughs> All right, finely sliced red onion. Ugh, I love the smell of cucumber and red onion together. I feel like I'm at Subway. <laughs> okay, next she says she crumbles some feta in. Or excuse me, fat turf. Okay, and then olive oil. She specifically said to use nice olive oil, not the cooking olive oil. Thank you, Graza. Pour some in. Ugh, looks delicious. Okay, and then white wine vinegar, she said. Okay, and then the last thing she said was a little bit of a red chili. Me measure out the right amount. All right, about that much, I think she said. <laughs> Gonna give that a very fine chop. All right, there we go. Just a little bit. All right, and I think that's everything she said. Let's mix that up. Looks stunning. A classic salad. Okay, she didn't say it, but I'm gonna add some salt and pepper. No. Okay, and I think that's everything. This is what it looks like. Uh oh, drama. Just looks like a salad. <laughs> All right, Florence Pugh's lunch. Let's give it a try. Mm, delicious. Kind of just tastes like a classic Greek salad. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> tastes like all the ingredients put together. <laughs> so, once again, uh, darling, I'm a little worried. It's delicious, but there's not a lot going on. Where's the protein? Where's the quinoa? It's good. I just fear I will be hungry. It's giving... It's giving salad. <laughs> it's giving Panera. Is there caffeine in this? Yep, that's a salad. Okay, eight. I am still a little hungry, but that was delicious. A delightful white woman salad. Okay, let's see what's next. All right, afternoon snack, just before dinner. Maybe this is, oh, ooh, okay. Uh, what was that? <laughs> Did you just have a vision? Okay, an afternoon snack. Depending on if I wanted it for dinner, usually I kind of do this for dinner, but if it's an afternoon snack, I make myself a cheese board. I'll get out a manchego, okay. I'll get out a crumbly cheddar, I'll get out a goat's cheese. It doesn't, it doesn't matter if it's gooey or hard, or even if it has like one of those nice do they, crusts. Do they make goat cheese that's hard? I thought all goat cheese was like soft. Okay, she has a cheese board, a very classy snack. And then I'll get some nice quince out, I'll get some chutneys out. Quince? What is quince? The only quince I'm familiar with is quince and yebra. Quince. What? What is that? Hold on, they got different fruits in the UK? I have never seen that. That doesn't even look edible. <laughs> what part of that do you eat? Okay, it says it's similar to an apple and a pear, but you have to cook it before eating it. And this says it's hard, tart, and astringent. That doesn't sound, that doesn't sound good. <laughs> Where to buy quince? Where to buy quinceanera dresses? <laughs> all right, I don't know about all that. But what else has she put on it? These out, maybe a bramble and an apple and an onion. A bramble? Get, get all those things out, and I'll make myself a little cheese board with some crackers. What is a bramble? Oh, oh, okay, a bramble is just a word for black raspberries, raspberries. That, I definitely know we have those. I don't like the big uh, stone ground crackers. I tend to like the ones with bits of cheese or olive or pepper in them. But that's what I do, I'd eat that. Um, <laughs> aren't you gonna put the cheese on the cracker though? Isn't that how the cheese board works? <laughs> hey, I respect it. Sounds effective. Get the crackers with cheese already in them. <laughs> and then sometimes I eat that and it's so mega I don't have dinner. But. I don't mind, I'll just have more of the cheese. Period, she's a cheese girl. Okay, so her afternoon snack is a cheese board with manchego, a crumbly cheddar, a goat cheese, some quince, a chutney, bramble, apple, and onion. And then crackers with stuff in them. All right, let's do it. Okay, I don't I don't know where to find quince. Never heard of her. I looked at the grocery store. I don't think we have that here. <laughs> I also don't really understand what it is because everything I was reading says it's like poisonous. You gotta cook it. But all right, I got an apple, got an onion. Okay, I got these Trader Joe's fig and olive crackers. She said she likes the one with stuff in them. She specifically said olive. I got some goat cheese. I have some crumbly cheese. Then I have some of this Miyoko smoked English farmhouse, which is kind of like a cheddar. I got a mango chutney. And an onion, she said. I don't know if I've ever just straight up eaten raw onion on a cheese. Board, but I get the vision and an apple. I also got some blackberries, so that's our bramble. Right, let me cut these. Oh, I forgot to take the sticker off. Oops, my bad. All right, get some apple slices, some onion, I guess. Not really sure what we're doing with that. <laughs> I'll just do a few thin slices. All right, some blackberries. Okay, and the chutney. I can't get it open. What the? F Got it. <laughs> All right, and I think that's everything. Here we have it, our Florence Pugh cheese board. Minus the kints, cause I don't, what, I don't know what that is. All right, let's get into it. Mm. Oh, delicious. These are pretty good, I've never had them. Love the rosemary raisin mm. one. Delicious. Woo! Oh, delicious. I mean, <laughs> it's a cheese board. No real surprises here. It tastes like everything that's on the it. The only thing that's new to me is putting red onion on a cheese board. Never done that. But let's try it. All right, I'll do some of that. I'll do some of the onion. Let's see. Ooh, 
Delightful. Whoa. Wait, what haven't I been putting red onion on a cheese board? It's delicious. It's like a little sandwich. Mmm. Ugh, I wish I had like a glass of wine. Alright, let's try this chutney. I've never gotten it before. Oh. Yeah, I mean, it's all really good. Mmm. Mmm, yummy, yummy, yummy. It's a quote. Did you get it? Did you catch that? Wow. I don't really know what to say. I'm just like gnawing on this in silence. <laughs> I'm a little bramble. Oh, me cheddar and my chutney. I'm sorry. I don't. I don't know accents. Delicious. <laughs> Guys, I'm sorry. I got nothing really to say. But I don't <laughs> want to move on yet because I want to keep eating this. Wow. Y'all, I turned the camera off. I've just been sitting here in silence. Munching away. Okay, I'm getting full though and I do think she eats dinner so I should probably stop soon. But wow. Oh. Florence, I like you. You're my kind of girl. Alright. Yeah, I feel like we did it though. We ate it. <laughs> Alright, last bite. This is divine. I can't stop eating it. Now <laughs> we just clawing at this board. <laughs> Delicious. Well, there we have it. Florence's afternoon snack. Alright, one sec. Let me clean up. Alright, let's see what's next. What I fancy for dinner is I'm gonna go home to my parents and Ugh. I'm gonna get dad to cook me his famous roast chicken. Oh, wow. I guess she lives in the same area as her parents. I'm so jealous. I want my parents to cook me dinner. Oh, and her dad's like a, a, a chef. I forgot about that. All right, his famous roast chicken. What does he do? With his potatoes and chorizo and his vegetables. Chorizo? And what he does with the potatoes, I think I've, I've cooked them once in my cooking with Flo. But basically he does, he cubes up a potato with an onion and garlic and puts it potato, in Potato, onion, and garlic? And it cooks for about, I'd say like 15, 20 minutes, getting stickier and crispier. And that with a roast chicken and some gravy. Mwah! That's what I want for din din's. Din din's? <laughs> I wish I could just go home and have my daddy make me din din. <laughs> okay, sounds good, sounds simple. So she has roast chicken and then roasted potatoes with onion and garlic that she cooks for like 15 to 20 minutes. That sounds, that doesn't sound like enough time to cook potatoes. Okay, she said that she's cooked this before on Cooking with Flo. I'm not sure what Cooking with Flo is. Cooking with Flo, uh, there's only one Flo as far as I'm aware. You can't just put the Flo wig on and then be Flo. Cooking with Flo potatoes. Pop those potatoes in to your boiling water and we're gonna part boil them. We're not gonna full boil them until they're completely boiled. We're gonna boil them so they're a little bit undone in the middle because that's when the magic happens. With two forks, you're just gonna scratch the surface of every single one of these potatoes and make sure that they are lathered in this oil and then you're gonna season and pop them in the oven. Okay, I think I found the clip she was talking about. I just watched it. I don't know how much I can include because there's copyrighted music playing in the background. But it seems like she peels them and then parboils them and then roughens them up with a fork. And then she bakes them for the 15 to 20 minutes with the onion and the garlic. All right, let's do it. And then for the roast chicken, I'm just gonna use these little vegan chicken fillets I found. They're the Beyond's brand. I've never had them before, but I'm sure they're good. All right, let's do it. Got some potatoes here. We have our onion and then some garlic. All right, just gonna rinse the potatoes. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get a pot of water boiling so that's ready when we have the potatoes ready. All right, got the water boiling. Okay, I don't know where my normal peeler is. I have one that works a little better than this. Okay, wait, I'm just gonna turn the camera off and I'll turn it back on when I'm done peeling all these. It might take a minute. Okay, I have peeled all of the potatoes. My hands are very sore <laughs> and the water's not boiling yet, but I'm gonna go ahead and just throw them in. Okay. And now we wait for them to boil. <laughs> They're pretty small, so they'll probably only need like maybe 10 minutes. And then like she said, we're gonna take them out, mess them up with a fork a little, cover them with oil, and then she said to bake them at 400 degrees. All right, I'm gonna turn the camera off. I'll see you when the potatoes are done boiling. All right, it's been like 20-ish minutes. I think the potatoes are done with their parboil. Let me go ahead and drain them. Oops, okay, that might've actually been too long. Some of them are kind of falling apart. Okay, that's what they're looking like. And then she said to take forks and like roughen them up a little. This is what is probably gonna make them nice and crispy. She knows a thing or two. <laughs> all right, yeah, got them all nice and roughened up. All right, I'm gonna set the oven to 400, and then I'm gonna use avocado oil, because she said in that video to use a high heat oil. Get them nice and covered. Okay, then I don't think she did it in the Cooking with Flow video, but in the Harper's Bazaar video, she said potatoes with onion and garlic, so I guess I'll throw in some onions and garlic as well. All right, just throw some in. All right, that's looking good. It's smelling delicious. And then she said to season it. I'm assuming that means salt and pepper. All right, and once the oven's heated up, I'll throw these in for 15 to 20 minutes, she said. Okay, and then for the chicken I'm gonna eat, this says to cook it for 25 for 12 minutes. So I'll go ahead and just do that in my toaster oven. Wow, can't wait. These potatoes, I can't wait for. Hopefully they should get nice and crispy because she like roughed up the edges. Okay, the oven is preheated. I'm gonna go ahead and throw these in. 
Have fun. And then the set timer for 15 minutes. All right, and I'm gonna throw the chicken in too. All right, and now we wait, and I'll see y'all when they're done. Okay, I guess I'll turn the camera off, but can't wait. A proper English dinner. I need to stop, sorry. Okay, the timer went off, it's been 15 minutes. They don't look brown at all. They don't really seem to be doing much. So I guess I'll give them like another 10 minutes and we'll see where they're at. All right, y'all, it's been like 40 minutes. I thought they would get all brown and super crispy, but they aren't really. But I guess I'll take them out, because they've been in there for a long time. They're definitely cooked. Alright, not bad. I mean, they're kind of brown. They're a little crispy. I would leave them in longer, but the onions are starting to burn. Alright, let me get the chicken. Looks delicious. Alright, let's put some potatoes on. Alright. It looks okay. <laughs> I thought the potatoes were gonna get more brown, but they've been in there forever and they aren't really doing anything. But I think... I think that's it. All right, yeah, here we have it. Florence Pugh's roast chicken dinner with her roasted potatoes with onion and garlic. Y'all, don't make fun of my little chicken patty. All right, let's try these potatoes. Okay. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah, they're good. They're fine. Huh. Well, y'all, I tried. I watched the video. I tried to do it exactly like her. Uh, it's nice. A little potato dinner. I mean... It's chicken and potatoes, and it tastes like chicken and potatoes. Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> I'm sure Florence's dad makes them way better. But as you can see, I mean, them up. Oh, I mean, it's good because I'm hungry, but it is kind of boring. I'm not going to lie. I feel like a poor little British boy eating my potato. Whoa, sorry. Honestly, I just forgot I was filming for a second. I just blacked out. I've just been here eating. Oh, last bite. All done. Well, there we have it. Florence Pugh's dinner. Roasted potatoes, a classic. All right, let's see what's next. To start my evening, I would have a vodka martini. It would be either Belgian or Veracruz. And the glass has to be chilled in the freezer. And let me guess, you add and nothing. We're going to shakey, 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 and pour that cold, sweet nectar out. And I'd have that. <laughs> what is with celebrities and just drinking pure vodka? Every one of them. That is not a drink. That's an ingredient. All right, well, let's make it, I guess. I have this bottle of Grey Goose. I don't know why I have this. I think this is from when Chris and I lived together. I think we just had this for some... Oh, we bought it at Costco. Wait, does vodka go bad? <laughs> How can it go bad when it already is bad? All right, well, I guess let's make a martini. She said to put a glass in the freezer, so I've had one in the freezer. Okay, I don't know where my cocktail shaker went, so I'm just gonna use like a little mason jar lid situation. All right, our ice. That's vodka. Let's pour it in. I don't have that much, but that's okay because I don't want much. <laughs> All right, and here is a glass that I have had sitting in the freezer. Ooh, oh, she's cold. All right, and that's it. <laughs> Let's pour out this sweet nectar, as she calls it. I don't know what's sweet about it. Could have put in a little juice, maybe, but okay. All right, and here we have it. Florence's vodka. <laughs> Let's try it. Oh, honestly? Never, oh, never mind, never mind. Oh, there it is. <laughs> the fuck? What is wrong with rich people? That is disgusting. The first few moments of the first sip weren't that bad, but it is not pleasant. Take me with you. <laughs> I need to get out of here. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, not loving this one. Can't say I like it. Is it? Am I being racist towards British people? <laughs> Sorry, mate. I feel I don't care. Rubbish. <laughs> Every time I drink one of these rich white lady martinis, the first sip and the last sip are always the best. Because the first sip is the coldest, and by the last sip, I'm a little tipsy. <laughs> cheers. T to what? I don't know. It's over. Do you cheers at the end? No. All right, I did it. We're done with that. <laughs> All right, we gotta almost be done here. All right, anything else? Um, strange food habits. Hmm. Oh, this one I'm scared of. I tend to put Marmite with a lot of things. Like, I feel like if you're I snacking, you can just wipe a bit of Marmite on the plate and anything you chop up with Marmite will taste good. But mm, Marmite, I think, is like the British equivalent of Vegemite, which is Australian. I have never tried either. But what I do know is that it seems like only people from those countries like them. <laughs> I don't know if there's like a gene in our mouth. But okay, she... Puts Marmite on everything. <laughs> if I don't have anything to dip into peanut butter, I'll chop up a few carrots, and carrots and peanut butter is actually quite nice. Basically anything okay. just serves as a spoon for peanut butter, so it's behind. I feel that. Alright, lastly, she has some weird food habits, I guess. She eats Marmite on everything. <laughs> and then carrots with peanut butter. That actually, I, I literally think I've done that before. Because I too also love anything with peanut butter, especially something a little sweet. And carrots are a little sweet. <laughs> Alright, well let's try it. I got some carrots, I got some peanut butter, and unfortunately I got some Marmite. I had to go to World Market for this once again. Not looking forward to that. Alright, carrot, let me give it a rinse. Alright, got a little dip. 
Mm, delicious. I mean, honestly, I just love peanut butter, so. Okay, Flo. Yeah, this is good. I'm into it. A healthy little snack. Yeah, carrots and peanut butter. I'm into All it. Right, one of Florence's unusual snacks down. Not bad. We'll eat again. And now... I'm scared. I have never purchased Marmite or Vegemite before. I've never smelled it, I've never seen it. It says the ingredients are yeast extract, salt, carrot and onion juice, vitamins, and natural flavors. So what is it? <laughs> what is it for? Well, she says she eats it on anything. So let's try it. All right, let's open it. <laughs> huh, okay. <laughs> it actually doesn't smell that bad. Just looks like thick, Black tar. <laughs> it honestly doesn't smell as bad as I thought it I would. I mean, it doesn't smell good. <laughs> but it's kind of giving like a broth concentrate vibe. Probably from the carrot and onion. But, all right. She says she just puts it on her plate and eats it with stuff. So, oh my, oh, oh, it's thick. Oh my God. Oh my God, why? I was not expecting it to be that thick. What the fuck is this? <laughs> it is so thick. All right. All right, I guess I'll just try it. Off the spoon. <laughs> I am scared. The serving size is one teaspoon. That's probably about that. <laughs> Three grams of protein. Okay. Oh, slay. It's a source of protein. <laughs> Guys, I'm just procrastinating trying it. All right, let's try it. Oh, 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 what the? Ew, what the? Oh, what the fuck? Oh, 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 I swallowed. Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh I, uh, oh, I taste the geese. Oh my god. Oh my god, it was so thick. Ew. Oh. I, can't, I can't get it out of my mouth. <laughs> what the fuck is... What do you... Why? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Absolutely not. That was fucking nasty. What do you use that for? God, I feel like I need to blow my nose. <laughs> All of my orifices are rejecting it. Uh, what do you, what it, why? What it, what? <laughs> that shit was nasty and it was so thick. It stuck to the roof of my mouth and it would not let go. I feel attacked. Marmite? Well, Mar do not. Ugh, that was nasty. I need something, I need something else to wash it down. Oh, fuck no. Y'all are weird. My mouth won't stop watering, I keep getting spit. Florence, I was rocking with you. You know, I liked your vibe. But I do not like that. Y'all are sick fucks. What do they do with that? What do British people use Marmite for? Uh... <laughs> Why does the top rated answer on Quora say, we have a long family tradition of poisoning foreigners with it? Marmite spaghetti? Oh, hell no. I'm usually pretty open to trying new foods. But that, that was gross. That was nasty. I feel like I need to take a shower. Sober me right up. I don't even feel the alcohol anymore. I would like to. <laughs> Ugh. All right, let's get this shit over with. <laughs> Y'all producers couldn't have asked her about her weird food habits at the top of the video. You had to leave it for the end. We were having such a good time. All right, is there anything else? And that's everything I eat Ugh. today. Except Thank God. these three bowls of fruit that I forgot to mention about. I eat these too. <laughs> Looks like I'm covering my tits. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, girl. <laughs> okay, honestly, I will take some fruit right now. Need to wash that shit out of my mouth. <sighs> That's better. Well, there we have it. That is everything Miss Florence Pugh eats in a day. Sorry, I'm like, <laughs> the past 20 minutes just completely changed the way I feel about the past five hours. I feel like out of all of these that we've done, I feel like she was pretty tame up until that. You know, she kind of just eats like a normal person, just like us. Wow. I'm like, I feel like I'm gonna have nightmares about the, the way. The way that shit just stuck to my mouth. Uh-uh, not again. Y'all, does anyone want the rest of that? I do not. I will not be consuming. All right, well, that was a journey. I gotta go. <laughs> I need to go brush my teeth. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. These are always fun to do. Shout out to Herpes Bazaar, they do the series I use. Florence, I like you, I did not like that. British people, we have beef. All right, thank you guys for watching. Uh. Ugh. Oh, I gotta go. <laughs> All right, bye-bye.